Hi guys and welcome back. So I thought today we'd look at the new Forge World Legion Champion and Master of Signals. And these were sculpted up by Mark Bedford from what I remember. And uh, I've got to say I'm really impressed and I've been very excited about seeing these. So let's open the box and have a quick look. I'll see you in a second. Hi guys and welcome back. So Anybody that knows me will know that I've been quite excited about seeing um, these models because um, we've been having little um, glimpses of stuff that are coming out and if you were, I think they were shown also at um, Games Day this year. Um, <clears throat> so I've been very, very excited about seeing these. Uh, they're beautiful sculpts um, and I've got to say there's a lot of work that's been put into it. So let's just have a quick look. So let's have a look at this guy here and I've got to say fantastic now if i'm mistaken i think it's a mark two or mark three armor i'm thinking it's mark three armor um very stylized uh, now this is the champion um it's his main body there's a hell of a lot of work that's gone into this uh, it's nice to see like a rubbly base as well that you can mount him onto um, a lot of people have been building their own i've got a few bits and pieces that i've been building for myself but it's always nice to see uh, mark bedford's sculpt ups uh, I mean he puts a lot of effort into these and a lot of uh, detail goes into it as well uh, so that's absolutely beautiful and it's nice to see him sort of going up some steps there and there's a lot of detail in the base as well um, and some purity seals so you can pretty much uh, pretty much do what you like with this as in army you don't have to necessarily go with the weapons that come with it uh, or the head so we're gonna have a quick look at those heads so what do we got here so on this we've got um, the champion and uh, we've also got the master of the signals. Now this kind of reminds me uh, of the original uh, metal mini that came out years ago, this guy here. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's very reminiscent of that as well. Uh, absolutely beautiful. It's like one of those early days of uh, Citadel. Um, and they've managed to recapture that into this mini here, so it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's look at the champion's head. So if we go a little bit closer, there we go. Very nice, he's got that sort of like uh, plate that comes up the front there to cover the face. Uh, so just his eyes are poking through, very um, stylized as well. It reminds me of the, the Dreadnought head uh, from the, uh, what's it called, Veteran Dreadnought head, I can't remember has that sort of look as well. And there's a slight curve to the back of the helmet as well, which is really beautiful. I've got to say I'm in love with these already, really lovely. Um, let's check out the champion's weapon. Now, it, obviously, there we have the arms. And he's holding a, a beautiful sword, ornate, mastercrafted weapon. Um, very nice. I've got to say that is very, very nice. I'm a big fan of the Mark II and Mark III armour, I've got to say that, and I've started to get into the Mark V armour as well, which is actually quite beautiful. So, I've kind of like that, that's done quite well. Let's look at the backpack. So, you have the Master of the Signals backpack, uh, which is there, um, where you have also the Champion's backpack uh, with the Eagles either side, very ornate looking, very beautiful as well, very nice. Um, I think with the other backpacks you get from the uh, command sets, I think it's just got one aerial where this guy comes with two. Uh, he also gives you bombardment, which is quite nice as well. Uh, we'll check out the uh, shoulder pads. Again, we've got back to the old uh, um, stubbly, sort of like uh, pointy, pointy bits all over the shoulder pads. I forgot what you'd call them really. Bits of, I don't know, very, very nice though. Um, and a nice smooth shoulder pad uh, because your champion also has a, another shoulder pad which is very ornate looking with uh, uh, Crux Terminatus or some sort of seal uh, and a skull and some other bits and pieces just to make out that he is a champion with all these little honours um, and we also come with, this also comes with a beautiful set of arms uh, for the Master of the Signals who has his little control panel there so he's got a hand of pressing down on buttons and you've got a little screen in the inside of that that's actually really cool there's so much detail in that it's unbelievable really really impressed I do like that they really what I like about Forge World is they're a fantastic character studio and uh, and here's the master of the signals um, 
main body. So it comes with a pistol already on the side there. Uh, this is Mark V armor, I think. I may be wrong. Please let me know, but I think it is Mark V armor. And you can see all the bits and pieces hanging off it, which are quite nice. See all the piping underneath there. And it's even got the, uh, the lightning bolts as well, which is familiar and stylized with the Emperor of Mankind, which is fantastic. Really, really nice piece. So that's an absolutely wonderful piece. So I'm going to clean these up. I'm going to put them together and we can have a quick look and see what they look like. Okay, guys, see you soon. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so we've put them together and I've started painting them as well, which is a little bit naughty, but actually quite exciting at the same time because these are absolutely two beautiful minis. So let's take a look at the Master of the Signal, shall we, first of all, and just get a good look at that. Now, I've got to say, it is a lovely and well-detailed mini with lots going on, um, very poseable. You could actually replace uh, this arm uh, with something else um, <clears throat> but it looks really cool and the detail in the pack is just oh, again my favorite word phenomenal and as you can see I start putting the Imperial Fist logos in there so all in all a fantastic model you're going to enjoy building that one and it's going to look great in any color scheme um, and then we have the champion model now with this one I've replaced the head um, the, well, the helmet with a head uh, I still need to do a bit more uh, to this, um, and I've got to say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, that's such a lovely, cool mini. And I've got to say, the pose is really cool. And it's nice that I've just realised when I was painting it that it's different types of armour, um, which is brilliant. So it gives you that look uh, from the Drop Site Massacre, uh, or not so much the Drop Site, but Istvan 3 maybe, uh, with the first betrayal. Uh, where they're scavenging bits of armour uh, to wear so you could do some beautiful bits and pieces there and it even includes that whole look of uh, terror where uh, the Imperial Fist go to Mars to retrieve bits of armour and stuff uh, for their troops down on Earth and I've got to say it's lovely, absolutely lovely Mark Bedford, a uh, fantastic sculpt up by him um, and I do hope it is Mark Bedford, I think it is but I've got to say, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I've just got a few bits and pieces to do this, uh, due to this, a little bit of highlighting, uh, clean up the detail on it, and he's there, ready to be varnished. So there you go, and that's a fantastic little pack um, that you get. Um, you know, you can replace the arms, give them a, give them a shield and a, and a thunder hammer maybe, or you know, lightning claw and a bolt pistol or something like that, just to make him a little bit more different to everybody else's. But all in all, definitely worth the price. Okay guys, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.